Happy birthday, Pam. I hope you have a blessed and wonderful day. Think about you and your family all the time. Have a great day. Love you and miss you. Hi, Hi Pam. Pam. Happy, Happy 80th birthday. We just wanted to send you some birthday wishes, some special, special wishes. We love you like family. We have had some great times over the years. We've known you guys for such a long time. Thank you so much for all the fun, amazing times at Peely. And you know what? Your gardening and everything is also amazing. You need to keep it up because you've got a long road ahead of you. We love you so, so much. Just make sure you guys don't party too much without us. We want to make sure that after this lockdown that we all get together, have a big party and have a good time and do some dancing. And Bob, give her a big squeeze for me. Have a good one. And me. <laughs> we love you guys We love you so like much. family. And we will see you soon. Happy, Happy birthday, birthday, Pam. Hey there, Pam. We just wanted to wish you a very happy birthday from the Mouders in Maryland. Mm -hmm. Happy birthday. Are we going to sing? I guess we are. Happy, happy birthday, birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Pam. Happy birthday to you. Hey, hi Pam. This is the Reeds and the Spooner family wishing you a very, very happy 80th. Happy, happy birthday. birthday! Hi Pam, wishing you a very happy 80th birthday. I'm wishing that we could be together to celebrate, but we'll have to delay that celebration until later on in the summer. I can't wait to see you and Bob again, and just wishing you all the best for um, this birthday and for many, 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 many years to come. Love you so much and so glad that you are part of our life. Happy 80th birthday, Pam. Hoping to celebrate with you later this summer. Set. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Grammy Pammy. Happy birthday to you. Happy 80th birthday, Grammy Pammy. Hi, Pam. Terry Lowry here. Happy birthday, dear lady. I hope you have a, just a wonderful time with your family and friends. I sure appreciate you, and you're a very good lady. Very good grandma and a good mom to all your family. And a great grandma now. I sure do miss you, not seeing you. Um, take care, and when I think of you, I think of the flower lady. You always have flowers abounding around you. Bye. Marilyn, wishing you a very happy 80th birthday. You are my forever friend whom I have known more than 75 years. Hope you have a great day. Happy birthday. Hi, Pam. Hi, Pam. Hey, Pam. <laughs> Hi, Pam. We didn't know what to get you for your birthday, but we thought maybe you'd like some flowers. The happy face pansies, or, but not some oven mitts. How about a little frog? <laughs> or a bunch of little bits. Happy birthday, Pam! Cheers! Cheers! <laughs> She's 80. Hi, Pam. Happy birthday. Happy birthday, Pam. We, uh, from your oldest friends from the late Warhees. Um, it, uh, it's tough to get old, Pam, so all I can tell you is, uh, stay healthy and, uh, enjoy your kids, grandkids, and great-grandkids. Love to all. Judy, you want to say anything else? No, just miss you a lot. All right. Okay. Love you guys. Bye. Bye. Oh, hi there. We were just planting some flowers in our garden and we're thinking about our favorite gardener. 
who has years and years of more experience than us. A lot more experience than us. Years, years and, and years, years of, of experience. experience. Of course, we're talking about Pam Brenner, our favorite gardener who's turning 80. So Pam, we are all here today to wish you a happy 80th birthday from the Hagues, and we uh, love you so much. Love you, Pam. Happy birthday. Happy, happy 80th birthday, Pam. Hi Pam. Hi Pam. Happy birthday. Happy big birthday. I hope you have a wonderful day um, and hopefully it won't be too long before we can get across to see you and catch up. But for now we wish you a very happy birthday. Yes, very happy birthday. Lots of love from all the Titcombs. Yeah. Bye. Bye. Just wanted to wish you a lovely fresh and healthy birthday. I know that she'll have a lot of fun, lots of love and laughter. Wish we were there with you, but maybe we'll see you again sometime soon. All the best, Pam. Bye. Bye. Hi, Pam. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Dave and I are just sitting here at our outside bar. We just got done with a swim. We were thinking about doing some gardening. Do you want to do some gardening? We could, but, we could. You know, but there's, no. I, there's ivy stuff around. Yeah, there is. I Poison like ivy, it. all kinds of yucky stuff. So instead, we're out here drinking. Cheers, Cheers to you. Cheers. Happy, Happy birthday. Happy 80th. Love you. Bye. Bye-bye. Hi, Pam. It's Debbie. Coming straight to you from Erie, Colorado, wishing you a very, very happy birthday. I hope you have a fabulous celebration this weekend with family and friends. I can't tell you when I think of you all the wonderful memories um, growing up on Eaton Gate, um, close by the Brenner family, you and Bob and Kim and Laurel and even Graham and Granddad. It just it just warms my heart, just all the wonderful memories that I have. So I wanted to make sure that I got in on this happy birthday video so that I could say um, you are a fabulous woman and mom and wife and I've just been so blessed to know you. Um, I know I have a special envoy from Denver coming in, so I hope you have a blast with Donnie and Matt and the boys. And uh, so I want you to remember, turning 80 is just like turning 27, just in Celsius. So we'll just have to say happy 27th birthday, Pam. Love you to bits. Have a great weekend. Happy birthday. Hi Pam, I'm sorry we're not going to be able to join you for this monumental birthday, but we still want to uh, wish you a happy 80th birthday. Happy birthday Pam, have a wonderful one, hope to see you soon. Just think, 80 years, but we've got 50 years of memories, and we reflect back on 50 years, we think of all the good times we had in Pelee Island with all of us. And then we think of um, all of our weekends at Shush Mountain and all the fun times we had there. And, and there's certain highlights then that we can think of, like for instance, the night that we broke into your house and poured leaves all over, your, all over you and Bob. And um, we were having a fun and exciting time and we couldn't understand, you and Bob didn't think it was as much fun. But that was the night we, we sat around in a circle and, and reflected on our friendship and watched the sunrise. 
And then, of course, we've got all of our New Year's Eve parties to think about and our weekends up at Shish Mountain. And uh, we, we have really packed 50 years of fun into our friendship. And um, I know I, when we were getting ready to go to Shush and I'd get off early and I'd relate to my boss about what we were doing almost every fall. And she said, you know, people go through a lifetime and don't have friendships like what we have formed. We're really, really lucky. But we are sorry we're not going to be there with you, but we still want to wish you a real happy birthday. And uh, you have a great day. Love you. Bye-bye. Happy birthday, Pam! Happy birthday. We're so happy to be here to celebrate your special day. Happy birthday, Pam. We love you so much. Hi, Pam. <laughs> I wanted to say a special happy birthday for you. You're such an amazing little beautiful woman, and you do a lot for this world, and you do a lot for me as well. We hope you have a special birthday from the Mills family. We love you. Love you, Pam. Love you. Happy birthday. Pam. Happy birthday. Happy birthday, Aunt Pam. We're glad to be with you from a distance. I wish we were with you in person, but we will be thinking about you on your birthday and hoping that you're having a good celebration and other people are with you and having a good time along alongside. So we've been thinking about you. Um, I guess we'll catch you up on us since we haven't seen you for a bit. Um, you know, we've had it's been a weird year with, with COVID, but it's been an okay year for us. Um, our work situations were fine. We actually both worked at home probably 95% of the time. It's kind of lovely. Yeah, it was nice to be, you know, have lunch together and take our dog for a walk. And It'd be tough if we had little kids, but it was, it was very peaceful. Yeah, and there were some nice things. Like Adam and Sam came last year and stayed with us for six weeks. And for a while we had, you know, four different home offices <laughs> set up in our Going, house. Yeah. And, yeah, so we'd work during the day and get together in the evening and had a really nice um, time with them. And you know, when else would we have been able to see them for, oh, yeah. for that long? Yeah, that was lovely. Yeah, yeah. so, um, um, you know, it's been, things have been fine here. Um, kids are all doing great. Adam and Sam are going like gangbusters. They, um, what have they been doing? Well, each of them moved up into new jobs this spring. Uh, they sold their first house and they just moved into their second one. Um, they're, they're, they just got back from a quick trip to Belize. <laughs> <laughs> oh, uh, to be working and yeah, young and yeah. having no children. Yes. So they're doing real well. A glorious time um, in life. Rachel, you probably know, she's been living in Amsterdam in the Netherlands. And this last year we were able to see her uh, last fall for a couple weeks. Um, sounds like she's probably coming home not you know pretty pretty soon a few more months but she's uh, she went over there to do a master's program in uh, global health and she finished that and she's now working she's doing covid related stuff and you know she wanted to do some public health so she tested people actually for a while and um, she had funny you know, stories of who who was bad yeah. with testing. Who, Apparently, who, middle-aged men who, who don't could take do well. the, the nasal probe. And, and who <laughs> right. Yeah, right. Yeah. 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 But that's that's kind of what she's been up to. So we're excited that she's coming back. You know, yeah. we were, we were thrilled yeah. that she had that adventure. But the concern is always that you know she's going to settle in there over yeah. overseas. Yeah. So, so Laura and I, you know, with the last year, like a lot of people, we stuck pretty close to home. But uh, that maybe is coming to an end. I'm I'm back at my office, and things are kind of opening up here. I hope they are up there in Michigan too. Yeah, I hope you guys have been safe. Yeah, and um, you know, we're really hoping to travel and, and visit and I, I hope it won't be long before we're all uh, able to see each other again. And It would be wonderful we'll to see you guys. To, I think yeah. the last time we saw you was at Adam and Sam's wedding. Yeah, so it so. was, yeah, this time of year even. And um, so I hope you keep us in mind when you think about travels and, and you know, we, we will also with you. It would be nice to see if we could, if we could connect. Yeah. So, so anyway, okay. happy birthday. Happy birthday. Lots of love. Love to you guys. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Hi, Pam. This we're is... doing the hula for Pam. We're, we're in our pool. 
Actually, we were in the big pool earlier today, but we just wanted to Aloha. say hello from the St. Louis Brenners and wish you a happy 80th birthday. Aloha. And we're going to show uh, my kids and my grandson here, too, and they're coming up next. So, Pam, here, here are the, my kids. Uh, you know, that's Dan on the left, Catherine, then Chris, then Michael, and Michael's son, Joe, my first grandson. And that's Bunsen, Chris's dog, who's chewing on a ball there in front. Happy birthday, Happy birthday, Aunt Pam. Um, and hello to everybody who's there. I hope you're having all having a great day. Uh, birthday celebration um, just happy to be a part of it and uh, Aunt Pam's always been such a nice and warm and fun person I've always admired her uh, creative abilities and so I thought I would uh, show off a piece of artwork that uh, Aunt Pam made years ago and gave to the Missouri Brenners as a uh, Christmas gift and I think uh, in addition to Pam's uh, artistic abilities, I think it also shows she might have a few psychic abilities. So I'll, I'll try to explain what I mean. So Pam made a Brenner family tree and uh, you can see this was in 1984 uh, using pieces of Pelee Island driftwood and some googly eyes to make a bunch of characters not too unlike the real Brenner family. The amazing thing is I think she psychically predicted at least a couple Brenner family members who weren't even around in 1984. So for example, the really tall guy in the back there seems uh, pretty clear who that has to be. And then uh, this character with the perfectly smooth and round head don't think there's any doubt there. Hello. Hi, Happy birthday. Happy birthday, Pam. From the Millers out here in Northwest Arkansas. Up here in the Ozark Mountains. We're trying to score some sweet methamphetamine. Hades <laughs> addiction. Anyway, meet out here for a trip. We're just wishing you a happy birthday. Hopefully, uh, it's a wonderful morning. Hey Pam, just want to wish you a happy birthday. I can't believe that you're 30 years old. It's crazy. But uh, thank you for everything you've done throughout um, your life and what you've brought to my family. Um, we love you. Um, I just want to say, Pam, that uh, I've only known you for a little short time, and you have been so accepting of me, and I just love you to death, and I just wish you a very happy birthday and many more years to come. Happy birthday, Pam. Happy birthday, Pam. Hi, Mom. Hi, Pam. We hope that you, you are having the happiest birthday. I hope you enjoy your 80th. I hope you had a great surprise today. And I don't care what Bob says, I think you, you can be very fun. <laughs> so hopefully you're enjoying your day and cheers to you in about five minutes when I tip your cup. Love you, Mama. Grammy, um, I just want to say happy birthday. I love you very much and I'm grateful for uh, you and everything you do for me and 
from learning about little critters um, way back in Peely when I was five years old, running around with baby snakes in my hands and salamanders and with my garden and everything. And I'm just super grateful to have you in my life. And I hope you have a wonderful birthday with my family and and everyone else that that comes to celebrate with you. And I love you very much. And I can't wait to see you again once I get home for the summer. Have a wonderful day. I love you. Happy birthday, Pamela Brenner. My lovely grandmother. I love you so flippin' much. You are just amazing. You are what I pour out of in this world. Your happiness, your will to just be awesome is just amazing. And I hope you have a great birthday and you're, I love you. Have a great day. studying outside figured I'd enjoy the weather while I study my life away but you have been such a huge support system for me and are always right there when I need you and there's just not enough words and words really don't cut it to express my appreciation and gratitude for both you and Bobby. I love you guys with all of my heart and am grateful to have such role models and you're an amazing mother you're an amazing grandmother which I don't need to tell you that because you already know. But I love you so, so, so much and I can't wait to celebrate with you. Thank you, Grammy. I hope you have a great birthday. You are my rock and I wish you the best of awesomeness on your day. And I just love you. Just You're awesome, Grammy. Uh, amazing woman, for sure. You always will be my number one role model. What do you love about Grammy? I'm going to miss you, and I like guarding with you, and I'm, I'm going to miss you so much. All right. And I hope you, and I love you, you to rock, and I, I miss you, and I have, and I make sure I have a great... Happy, Happy birthday, birthday Grammy. Grammy. We love you so much. We love you. Um, we appreciate all the time we get to spend with you guys, going to Mexico, hanging out at Peely, you know, some nice dinners that we've had here, or gone out to nice dinners. It's just been a, a pleasure to get to know you as time's gone on. You know, we love you very much. Every moment, every time, every minute I have with you, Grammy, is the best time. From teaching me to be a better green thumb, even though I'm not a good one, from going on to, to Cancun the first time, to the second time with my husband, um, Peely Island, there's just too much. To, for dinners would not be the same here without you. There's too much to talk about on camera so i love you so much i miss i miss hanging out with you so i can't wait until we have you over for dinner once again and take you out to dinner once again and to my fellow zta zeta we love you so much happy birthday happy birthday so we're here today to celebrate your 80th birthday mom i remember when graham hit this milestone and like you she is timeless I wanted to start my reflection by apologizing for being the worst thank you writer ever. From as early as I can remember, you started this training with Laurel and I, kind of like the thank you Nazi. And through my teenage years, it was a bit of a power struggle. Then going into adulthood, I realized I had ADD and it made more sense that my follow through would get into the way. I always had the good intention and I appreciated every little thing around me. But typically I would sit down, get to about the K's, and then I'd get distracted. The problem is, is that all of your friends started past the K's. Mills, Spates, Shrams, Sweetlands, get the picture? So let me just say to anyone who ever wondered about my mom's thank you training, that she was top of the line in this area. But kidding aside, Behind the thank yous, my mom gave me the gift of gratitude. I learned that it isn't something that you do, it's something that you live. And for this, I am ever thankful. Secondly, mom, I learned the gift of kindness from you. Graham used to say that true giving is selfless. You don't give and then wait for something in return. You give and expect nothing but the smile or the relief you bring to others. 
You modeled this throughout our lives, and to this day, you are truly the kindness, most kind and most beautiful soul that I know. I think, when I think of you, Mom, I think of endless gardens filled with flowers and hostas and daisies. And we will good, we're good just so long you don't depend on me to water them. I was blessed with an amazing mom, and I appreciate you every single day. Happy 80th birthday. Here is to many more laughs, hugs, and time spent with our wonderful family. Love you, Mom. Hi, Grammy. I just wanted to wish you a very happy birthday. And I hope it's amazing. And I hope I get to see you soon to celebrate with you. And I also would like to share with you that I think you're beautiful. And that I love you. Like a lot. Like a lot, a lot. Hang on to that for me. completely ruined by firing a rifle into the air while balls deep in a squealing <laughs> field trip was completely ruined by a flesh light. <laughs> it was completely ruined by saying, I love you. Oh, that, that was... Who and got the stuck? what I think? <laughs> balls deep. <laughs> Firing a rifle into the air while balls deep. In <laughs> this group of people have had more fun doing this video than you probably will watching it. Okay. During sex, 
I like to think about German dungeon porn. <laughs>